In this video, I'll show you how to set up a WooCommerce PayPal payment gateway fee in WooCommerce in just a few simple steps. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. Okay, so here we are on our WooCommerce checkout page. And when we select direct bank transfer, there's no additional fees being charged. However, when we select our PayPal gateway, you can see there's an additional checkout fee here being charged. And in the back end, I'll set up a fixed fee of $4.50. You can create a dynamic fee, so you can charge a set percentage based on an order total, or you can charge a fixed amount, just like I've done here. So if you wanna create a similar setup on your WooCommerce store, the first step is to head over to WooSuite.com, go ahead and download and install the dynamic pricing and discount rules plugin. I'll leave the link in the description below. Okay, so let's head back over to our dashboard and I'll show you exactly how to set this up. Okay, so assuming you've downloaded and installed the dynamic pricing and discount rules plugin by WooSuite, you'll just go plugins, add new, upload the files in which you just downloaded. Then you'll see this WooSuite menu here. Activate your license key, navigate to add-ons, and then go ahead and toggle the dynamic pricing and discount rules plugin on. So once we've done so, let's go ahead and click on the dynamic pricing rules. Okay, and then we'll navigate over to where it says checkout fees. Okay, so I've already created a rule here. I'm just gonna walk you through how I've configured this rule. So the first thing you wanna do is create a title and it's just for internal purposes only. So I will say PayPal. And here where it says checkout fee label. So this is what will be displayed on the checkout page. So if we visit our checkout page here, you can see this label here which says checkout fees you can name it something like like handling fee and then where it says coupon to apply it we'll ignore this option for now but you've got the option to trigger a particular fee when a user uses a particular coupon that's for a whole separate video so i'm going to select without coupon code and then the fees will be based on the cart total and we can set a fixed amount to adjust or a percentage amount. So if you remember in, in the intro, I mentioned I created a fixed fee of $4.50, okay? So we can do a percentage fee, right, based on a cart total. So let's change this to percent, and then maybe we're gonna charge a 3.5% fee, right? Just to cover our cost, or whatever PayPal will be charging us to process that sale, so we can offset the cost here. Okay, and then where it says condition, we have the option to choose from a payment method or shipping method. So we'll select a payment method here, and where it says condition, we'll say in, and then we go ahead and select the particular payment gateway. So here I've selected PayPal Express because that's what I'm using on this site. You can choose any other payment method in which you've got on your site as well, okay? And then we'll just go ahead and hit save changes. Okay, so now that's saved, let's go ahead and head back to our checkout page and let's refresh this page and hopefully the checkout label should be changed and also the amount that we're paying should be changed as well. So let's refresh this page. Okay, and let's select PayPal. And here you can see it's saying handling fee here. And now the handling fee is $1.58. And that's based on the cart total. And that's how you charge users a extra fee for selecting PayPal as a payment method. So if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe for more videos like this. If you've got any questions, leave them in the comment box below or reach out to support and we'll get back to you as soon as possible.